Somebody pray for me. Somebody stayed up all night and begged God to make sure I made money. I was so down, bad headed the worst. I had to look at my dog and that hurts. I kept a G, put my life in a verse. Still can't believe I broke the curse. Look, I, I came from robbing the jack, from trapping the rapping. Ain't nothing that I didn't do. Didn't have no food in my stomach. You know how that feel. We was starving to tell you the truth. I used to steal all my clothes, still got all the hoes. It was crazy, but we made it through. Think I'd be capping on God, I would jack. Go ask the streets, cause they got the proof. Nah, nah, me personally, my mouthpiece fire, but as far as my pimp game, my pimp game sucks. <laughs> you know, I got the mouthpiece to store it to you. I, I, can, I can get you there, you know what I'm saying? But I can't keep you there. <laughs> With that being said, um, this is during the time Katrina's finna hit land, so she's in the ocean down in New Orleans, Louisiana. Well, New Orleans, really. They really cautioning everybody. Um, at this time, Video Wayne, the Belly Boys, big shots out to the Belly Boy, um, T and Boo, Lil Ray's and Nine Ward. They all down in New Orleans. We had just got back. Me and one of the other producers, three producers from New Orleans Exposed. From I got this video, period. It's myself, um, Tareen Randolph, Meat. That is Tareen Randolph. And Video Wayne, of course, the Wayne Morgan. It's so us three. We've been rocking for 23, 24 years. But um, me and Meet, the producer for New Orleans Exposed, we was in, we had got back to Atlanta. We were staying in the house um, with Video Wayne, all of us staying together, along with the Belly Boys. We had a big house, probably like eight bedrooms um, in the West End area. And, um, on our on an everyday basis, what we would do was like me and meet really, because everybody else was in like in New Orleans. Me and meet had got back first, so we were um we had boxes of our DVDs, New Orleans Exposed and American Kids featuring Young Money that we produced, and um you know, I think we had we was working on Evacuated, but Rhyme of Crime was out featuring UPT Records with Juvenile, Wacko, and Skip. Big shots out to those guys. But we had those DVDs. We had a couple of CDs from New Music from New Orleans, from Little Razor. And we'll just go out there on the block, man, and hustle them, man. You know, we'll leave from the West End side. Um, big shots out to my partners, you know, Martin Luther King, Bankhead, that whole nine. But we'll leave out from that West End side where we stayed, and we'll go to the South side where I'm from. Mainly, though, the old national area. And we set up right at that shelf run. On flat shows, old national, y'all know what I'm talking about. Big shot side to my Shady Park partners, um, Pine Tree, Hill and Dale, that whole nine over that Shady Park, man. That's actually Shady Park store right there, man. A lot of things be popping right there at the Chevron out flat show, man. Don't get caught either over there, man. Both ways, y'all know what I'm talking about. But um, so we go down to that spot because that's one of the popping spots, man. And uh, we hang out there and uh, just you know bootleg the CDs and DVDs and stuff. And uh, we're really not bootleg because it was our stuff. So we would make a little money, man, and that's how we eat, though. You know what I'm saying? And that's basically, yeah, like I said, really how we ate, you know, the CDs, the DVDs, you know what I'm saying? So this one particular day, you know, I'm out there, and this this girl, she shows up, you know, out of nowhere. I just walk up. She almost um, slim caramel girl. She had some nice boobs on her, or however, you know what I'm saying? But she was cute. She was real cute. Looked like she probably was mixed with, like, Italian and black. You know what I'm saying? So we're we going to go with that race right there. But, um, so, you know, when I seen that she out there, you know, so I, you know, I shot my shot. You know what I'm saying? She going to choose. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do it. And, um, and when I, you know, walked over there, I'm talking to her. You know, she, she was on the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, she was trying to make some money, trying to survive, you know what I'm saying? She said she couldn't make no money out there. She was on Flat Show Old National, you know what I'm saying? No, nothing really don't pop for it, you know, with the girls right in that area. Right now, you have to go up Old National song to it, like the Quinta Inn, Towers, Fairfield Inn, Red Roof, all of them by Gavin and Roll. You, you want to get some plays, you know what I'm saying? But she was on the other end. So I told her, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, come back with me, you know what I'm saying? We can, you know, escalate to the ice cake. 
I just get to the escalate. <laughs> See, I'm in pimp. So I'm in pimp mode now. I'm in pimp mode now, but I shot, you know, shot my shot, man. You know, she ended up choosing and she ended up coming back with us. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, we had a big house in the West End. And then, you know, Auburn Avenue, all that area right there is known for what it's known for. You know what I'm saying? So I knew that we probably could handle some being up there. So I took her back home with me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, once we got there, you know, to the house later on that night, you know, me, myself, I had to test the product out. You know, I got to make sure, you know, what's going on out here is what everybody like. You know what I'm saying? This ain't I turn this done trees, but we turn like Turner Green. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so anyway, man, let me stop playing though, man. But um, she ended up coming up there, man. Like I said, I had to test the product, you know, and you know, did my thing, and you know, Charlotte was cool and stuff. So I knew that they would like her out there, you know, on the block and stuff. Um, I had a couple of friends that was coming by, you know, what I'm saying a couple of friends coming by. My partner, big homie AK, he was one of the um managers for the Untouchable Big Shots out the Alex Martin, man. But he was, <laughs> he was one of the partner that when he got over to the house to visit me, to come holler at me, he seen shouting. And, you know, he was trying to, you know, uh, get a dipstick wet. You know what I'm saying? So I had told him, you know, like, that what we doing. You know, that what we trying to do. And then at the same time, it's her body. You know what I'm saying? If she want to do what she want to do. But, you know, we can't do what it do. Not for free. You know what I'm saying? So I had to get with him and like, hey, man, check this out. You my partner. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut you a discount mall. You know what I'm saying? All the time. So he didn't want to do the discount mall. You know, he didn't want to do the discount mall. And then I had to two show him. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I can't even do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So because it's about business. You know what I'm saying? That what she followed me for. You know what I'm saying? That what she told me. I told her what I'm going to do, when I'm going to do it, how I'm going to do it. Let's do it. But we can't do it for free. So he don't have to pass on it right now. But the next day, man, we out on the block. <laughs> we out on the block, man. And um, you know, we still got our DVDs and CDs and we hustling and stuff. But now I got her out there. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I bought her some little clothes. Actually, we went to, like, City Trend. That was, that was what I did. I went to City Trend. I went and bought some little clothes, some little something for her to put on, you know, earrings and, you know, some little some little blush and something like that. And then we went out there to the block. You know what I'm saying? Went out there to the block, and she started doing her thing. And to tell you the truth, man, it started happening, you know, quicker than I expected. I actually started feeling like a big boss hog dog all the time. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, um... As as things was going, you know, you had you had people that wanted to um take her, you know what I'm saying? But we couldn't do that, you know what I'm saying? I had I had I gotta protect them, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. I gotta protect them thing. So I was like mostly um everybody that came up to John's and stuff, you know, I let them go back to the house. They go, you know, I go with them to the house, make sure it go right, make sure she get her money and all that, you know what I'm saying? I gotta watch them from a distance, you know what I'm saying? I had to watch them from a distance. If 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 I'm out, if they out my sight, you know what I'm saying, then I can't see my money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I'm in pimp mode, y'all. Y'all had a bad whip. I'm in pimp mode right now, man. But um, so most of the people that was coming up to the block right there, we was right there at the BP by Auburn Avenue, right there in that area, right there. So we was at that BP, standing right there. You know what I'm saying? So that what we sold the CDs at anyway. So now we got her. Now she was safe. So. Everybody that came, I got in the car with her and and him or her and get in the car, ride to my spot. You know, me, Video Wayne, all of us stayed in the house. Cause like I said, we had like an eight-bedroom house with the Bella Boys, all of us up in the West End area. So they'll do their thing. We'll go back to the spot. Do their thing. We'll go back to the spot, man. And we ran for about a week, man. When I say a week, I mean five days, not the seven, but five whole days. I can say, not, not exaggerating. That she had, she had made about six to eight hundred, almost seven bands, bro, right there, bro. This real talk, man. Y'all know, you know what, you know how we had to handle that. You know, what I'm saying she didn't get the whole seven band, but she she made close to seven bands. <laughs> but um, at one particular time, man, because what we was doing was um three hundred for 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 you know the um shenanigans, and then if you wanted both. If you want to, you know, the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? The, um, y'all know what I'm talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
it was 500. You know what I'm saying? 300, you know, just for a bam. And then 500, you can do all everything, you know, everything, everything. But right there in the house and, you know, things of that nature. But what happened, man, this one dude, he pulled up. He was in a Impala, one of them spaceship Impala, them overshaped ones. He was in an Impala at, um, and uh, yeah, he had some bullshit. He was knocking down a block for one. And he had some, like 24, 22s on him, but he was sitting up high, tent when it came through that glossy. And um, he was trying to dig at Charlotte. So I, I see him over there, you know, I'm in the cut, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the cut, peep in the butt. That's all I did, just like that. So um, <laughs> he over there talking to Charlotte and, you know, trying to get with her and stuff. But I see when she point at me, you know what I'm saying? He look over there at me, you know what I'm saying? I like I ain't looking at him, but I see it. So he come over there, chop it up with me. And what he wanted was he wanted to take her home. He wanted the whole shenanigans, but he wanted to take her with him. And see, we ain't having that, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he think that, you know, I I, I just got on the on the um on the um pimp truck, you know what I'm saying? But I got a lot of pimp partners all around me, you know what I'm saying? So too short running my blood all day anyway. So I tell, I tell, I tell him like now, nah, man, you know, you know, Shawty, you know, she ain't doing none of that overnight cap, man. This, that, this, that, this, that, and then you know he was persistent, though, kept something like that. So I'm like, man, I'm just gonna have to make that bread. It's all about the bread, you know what I'm saying? So I told him a stack. Told him he give me a stack, he could take, he could go ahead and do his thing, you know what I'm saying? But he didn't want to get a stack. He didn't want to get a stack. So we going around and around and around and around. And I end up, you know, hit him with like the 500. Hit him like with the 500. He didn't want to do the 500. Let this do him trick, man, you know. And like I say, Charlotte was tight, though. Italian and black. You know what I'm saying? And then she know how to speak that, you know. She got that, 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 that lingo. You know what I'm saying? So we end up going around the circle, man. I end up going, selling for this for $400. Four hundred dollar, and he gonna bring her back in the morning. So on, so on. So, yo, know, money got you know money got sent down, and he ended up leaving with Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Gave Charlotte my number, so hit me up. You know, bam, bam, bam. So the next morning, I think you no know, expecting him back the next morning. Next morning they ain't show up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, man, oh dang. And I then I started thinking like, hey, I should have got home number. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't never get home number either. Man, it, it got around to 8 or 9 o'clock that night. I'm thinking like, yeah, I know what's going to happen. He going to keep her another night, bringing him on. I'm like, boy, when he get him, boy, he don't have to pay. He don't have to pay like he wait on a fat girl slate. Real talk. <laughs> but, but, boy, the next night he ain't showed up, they ain't showed up, man. The next morning, man. I'm like, oh. Then I started realizing, like, oh, home, home gamer. Old game, you know, was was harder and slicker than than tree wall, you know what I'm saying? OG black bark, 3700 lost that one right there, man. So obviously she chose him at the end of the day, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's hey, hey, we done been all through the game, man. I mean, I'm gonna keep it real, I'm gonna keep it simple, I'm gonna keep it fair. Right here on Underground Source TV with your host, Don Tree Snot Family TV producer, OG Black Bart, 3700 Collar Parsh. Them days trying to get paid, we was hungry than a bitch. Don't switch on your brothers, don't fuck with no others, don't let another nigga diss. Ray Ray got the nine, JC got the Drake, neither one of them gon' miss. Don't play with my cheese, don't fuck with no rats, I'll turn you into Swiss. Don't be for no nigga unless it's the money, but it's never about a bitch. I'm all in New York, I'm all at the game, I don't even watch the Knicks. I'm not for the games, can't fuck with my brain, I ain't nothing for the tricks. Cause you can get shot in this bitch Somebody gon' drop in this bitch hey, yeah, I'm yeah, really yeah. just taking a look for the power Get the shit on these niggas for hours What's kicking in those day to day touch a powder Fuck a rat, hope the look clear the cow Away from the gang, keep the gang out the towers If they go, they be home in some hours Don't take so much money, this month hundred thousand Fuck a hop, I don't land in my cabin Your bitch nigga tripped and I'm dropping a bounty I thank God that this rapper shit found Cause I was too deep in them streets really clowning Hitting shit like Jadavia and clowning But see now I kick shit like I'm Ronda Rousey